What's up guys and welcome back to 72T. Thanks again for joining us on today's video. And today's video is going to be a bit of an interesting one. We're going to show you how to set up hotel internet. Now hotel internet is annoying at most. You connect to the Wi-Fi, change it to a web address, you've got to log in this information and you can connect to really slow internet. In today's video, I'm going to show you just how to set one up. If you're creating a hotel, so you're staying a hotel up, shopping center, or you just wanted to impress your friends. We're gonna show you just how to do it, and it's so easy. All you need is to pick up one of these cheap $30 routers, and this is gonna be the GL, I know, you can get more expensive one. These are probably not the best ones. These only go to up to 150 megabits, so they are a little slow. However, uh, this will do the job for today's video. So we're gonna show you how to set up a hotel internet. Now, if you're doing this as a professional, uh, you're watching this as a professional, simply follow the same steps. Obviously, if you're doing this as a professional, uh, have your own website, obviously have a help area. So when people enter in their email and name, it will get sent directly to your email so you know who's on the network. That is a way of doing it. It's just say you should do it, do it because there are other ways you can do it. You can do it so many dear ways. So some of the different companies want you to actually pay a thousand dollars for their modem and then they set up all the web um, information for you. But we can show you a free way of doing it and it's really easy. Pretty much if you're wanting to do it a free way um, and you want a, a proper login to come up, it's want to direct to our website, go to um, Crazy Domain, um, GoDaddy, um, Wix, and they all have these great ones and they work really well. They will do it perfectly for you and all you need is this and this modem and this will direct them straight to the website as soon as you set it up correctly on the router. So let's show you just how to do that. Hopefully that all made sense. So I'll show you um, step by step on what to do on the router to set this up. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all we need to show right there and it'll take less than five minutes and you'll be done. So let's show you how to do it. So all you have to do is type in the web address at the top of the screen, which is one two uh, one nine two dot 168.8.1 and that will load you into this page just make an account that follow the prompts to log in and you should be greeted to this page right here some things may be different you may not see this vpn sign as i am using this as a vpn so when people connect to it it connects to a virtual private network instead of your um, isp internet that way you get a bit more safety out of it so pretty much what we're going to show you first so um, what we're going to get the guest internet to direct to so there's a two of them that i want to show you. this is the one i made right here so just a little easy one i made through uh, GoDaddy, and you can just pretty much all you have to do is uh, put a bit of text here put a nice little logo as you see i made a custom logo um, and then what you do, you normally just add the help um, area, so the contact us area, and you just rewrite what you want to put in here. So I just rewrote name, I put email and billing address, and as soon as they hit this, it closes the menu and they just hit done at the top of the corner. So very easy to do. So that we're just that's basically if you want to do it very cheaply, you can do it. But um, yeah, that's basically how you do it there. Now let's show you how to actually do this. So first of all, what you need to do is go over to wireless, okay? And you need to go to your guest, so your guest Wi-Fi here. You need to pull the password off. So that password needs to be removed and it needs to be put to open. So as you see here, if it's ticked to any of these, tick them off, put it up to open only. Leave it on open. From there, what you want to do, okay, you want to go down to the applications area, hit the arrow key, and you want to go to captive portal. From captive portal, you want to hit enable, and as you see, it's the guest internet. You can only have it on guest internet, keep that in mind. Keep these numbers the same. And from here, this is where you get to choose where do you want them to be direct when they're first logged in. So this can be to a shop you own, anything. So we're actually going to just link it to this website here. This is the public government um, internet. Now we're gonna link them to this and we're gonna just show you it does work. So we're just gonna, okay, paste that in right there. You just wanna apply that setting. Take a few seconds. As you see success, you are done. That's how simple that was. You are actually done. So now what we can show you is pretty much, it actually works when we open it up on the phone. It will actually direct us to this web address. Now keep in mind, now a few other things that I just will note is, um, it will re want you to log into this every um, 24 hours. So every 24 hours, it's gonna redirect you to this link, okay? And then the customer will just have to refill it in as well, or they can just hit done when they finish filling it out. So we're just gonna quickly show you what it directs you to on the phone, um, just to give you a general idea. 
Okay, so now let's just show you logging into the Wi-Fi. And as you see, this is so easy. I'm so glad I stumbled across this because I did Google searches after Google searches and I found no way of doing this. And I always wanted to work out how do they set up hotel internet? Obviously, this is one of the ways you can do it, and it works pretty well, as you see. It does really work. So let's say I open up the iPad. The screen recording should pop up any second. Um, I'm trying to connect that to the computer, and that way you'll be able to see what we're doing. Okay, so pretty much the custom internet that we made the guest Wi-Fi on is going to be the GB internet. So we want to actually connect to that, and that will pretty much open up. It will open up a GLI net um, page. Um, from there, it'll just we just need to connect to that. So we'll just walk you through and show you just how to do it. Very simple to do and very easy, straightforward. So let's just click on that right now. And now it's connecting. And first of all, you're gonna see a blue page with the GLINet logo. From there, you just wanna hit a get connected. Okay, and then when you hit get connected, it's going to direct um, pretty much your customers or your friends or whoever's on the network to whatever web address you put on the router. And that's gonna take us to our custom login that we made, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So that should load up any second. Okay, so I had made this. I made this on GoDaddy, so you can easily do this. All you have to do is paste in a few pictures, put a bit of text, uh, put in the help area, so the contact us area, and bam, you've got your own web login. And as soon as they hit activate, it will send you all that details that they filled in, and then they just hit done at the top of the page. And pretty much that's your guest internet. So simple to do, it doesn't cost you much at all to set it up. And yeah, I just really wanted to show you just how to do it. If you found it helpful, let us know down in the comment section. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.